it's loading the document for the longest time. Okay, let's start the video, whatever. That's a great intro. <laughs> that should be our intro. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the first entry in a new series where we talk about popular builds for your favorite monsters, How to Ruin. And on this first installment, what better monsters to start with than our loved, beloved, <laughs> incredible, bat wielding, blood sucking, candy throwing, another adjective, a tech bar given. Okay, it's that's enough adjectives. A tech bar gaining, <laughs> violent. It's it's verd. It's verd. It's verd. <laughs> In this series, we're not just going to tell you how you can potentially ruin your verd, we're also going to talk about strategies that he can fit into and teams that you can use him on along the way. Well, I guess before we get into the, the real builds, we should at least acknowledge the first one that everybody builds him on, which is violent, whatever it takes to get you to 100% crit rate, because it's very important that he has 100% crit rate. After that, you graduate to violent revenge. That is the most used build for everyone that started doing DB10 back in the day, TOA, and even when Vertihill started being used in RTA. The next most popular build and still sees a lot of play today is Triple Revenge Vert. This is a little bit more reliable than the Violent Revenge because you have more chance to counter whenever your opponent hits you. So you can bring them against starting units like Chi Wu, Gemini, Triton. For extremely high level RTA players, they'll have one build of Vert in Triple Revenge and one in Violent Revenge. The Triple Revenge one, like Evan said, to use against double stripper teams that hit AoE and the other one for teams that don't need that revenge proc as much. In general, a really good way to build your Verd is by doing speed, crit rate, HP on your 246 slots. But for the triple revenge Verd, many players prefer to bring the HP, crit rate, HP, so your Verda Hill is tankier, and since he's there just for that first or second turn revenge proc, he can take more punishment later on and just push the attack bars early on for the other monsters to take a turn. In RTA, there's also a surprising build that it's a little bit niche with monsters like Pastet, Elsharion, and Raok. So let's say when it gets to the pick and ban phase, they ban your Bastet, seeing as it's the only starter on your team, right? Then you surprise them with a Verd built on Swift to take the first turn. Finally, the most recent build to be developed for Verda Heil is the full damage build. This is commonly done with Rage slash whatever it takes to get more damage. This is commonly seen with the Trickaroo team. In this specific build, Verda Hill will be built on attack, crit damage, attack. But remember, 100% crit rate is still a must. And the more attack you get, the faster your trick routine will slice through DB12. You don't need that speed from slot two because you got three really good doggos that are gonna get you to turns. This version of Verd has also seen some use in the Ruin of Silent Death within Calderon. In RTA, some players also use Verd on Double Revenge Will with 100% res to make the double strippers have to use their AoE strips and maybe proc a revenge that can win you the match. The 100% res is extremely important against strippers and also monsters like Daphnis. If you're just starting out your RTA journey, the stats you want to focus on are crit rate first and foremost, followed by speed and tankiness. This is extremely important because the longer your Verda House survives, Survive. 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 <clears throat> I will survive. <laughs> this is extremely important because the longer your Verda Howl survives, the more turn advantage your team's gonna get and the bigger his impact will be in the world arena. Think of him as a support monster for your team. Instead of healing, he's giving them turns, so focus on HP and defense. Have you heard about the Verda Hell Gospel? Have you heard the good news about Verd? He so increases the attack bar of all ally monsters. But wait, there's more. Vertihile is an amazing unit that will follow you from PvE into PvP. That's all I got. All right, later, guys. <laughs> Very accurate. Don't use him on raids.